um, it's Anne from Anne Ellis Angels. And here are your angel card readings for the coming week. These are general readings, so take from them everything that resonates with you. Leave behind anything else. But most importantly, enjoy the readings and have a really positive week. So Aquarius, let's check out your cards for the week starting the 7th of November. And from the Teacup Tarot deck, your overall energy here is the card 20, Reflection. This asks you to pause, have a break, <clears throat> realise how far you've come, how well you're doing, and then start to plan the next adventure. Now, that's just what the angel's doing on the card. Look, she's put her, oops, she's put her rucksack down. She's having a cup of tea and a slice of cake. Her sights are set on this signpost that says climb to new heights. And she's starting the very first ideas on where she wants to go next to climb to the next level. So that's your overall energy this week. Your help or your hurdle, in comes the Ace of Wands. Now, the Aces are all about new beginnings. The Ace of Wands brings in a new opportunity and a new start. So beautiful that it's followed on from here. Here's what you thinking about it. Here's you deciding on where to go. And here's the adventure showing up. So be ready to jump into the balloon basket when this opportunity shows up for you this week. Guiding you and helping you with this is the Page of Wands. Now, the pages are all messengers. They all have an envelope on the drawings. And the Page of Wands brings in a message of new opportunity, new ideas, positive change, manifesting what it is that you would like to do, creative projects, new ideas, all this information coming in for you, all this opportunity and all these new ideas are here. So make sure you're paying attention to them. How can we help ourselves? The Ten of Pencils comes in and says, expect the situation to improve. With each rung on the ladder, if you look very closely, it says much better, even better, so much better. Things are looking up. She's climbing upwards. Her sights are set here on the clouds, which says the situation is getting so much better. This is you climbing up the ladder of success. Pulling it all together, the justice card comes in and reminds you Follow your moral compass this week. Act with fairness, with justice. Focus on honesty and integrity. And when you do, when you follow your moral compass, the path in front of you will be clear. And the final outcome card, the Queen of Teacups comes in. Now, this card reminds you to focus on self-care first. And then the Queen of Teacups personifies charity, humanity and humility. In this leadership role, she's an authority figure in the tarot deck. She makes sure that everyone around her feels loved. She makes sure that everyone around her has their needs met, very often working in a charitable and compassionate way. And here she is making an enormous pot of tea for other people. So this could be you stepping up into this lovely leadership role. Or it could be you making sure that your needs are met first. That's why the Queen of Teacups is so good at what she does. Is because she looks after her energy levels first. So just to summarise the Teacup Tarot. Time for you to reflect, realise how far you've come and start to plan that new adventure because the new opportunity for a new start is here. 
the new information is coming in for you, the news is coming in, the creative projects, here are the messages, here's the information you've been looking for. Expect the situation to improve and get better. Follow your moral compass. Do what you know is the right thing to do. Look after yourself and then step up into this role of helping others. Feel loved, feel cared for. Very much in a charitable and compassionate way. So let's just clarify with the Time to Shine deck. The Two of Emotion comes in and says, enjoying positive outcome to discussions. So this could be you talking things over with somebody. It's really important that when you're talking things over, that you also listen and you each have a really clear understanding of one another. So this is clarity in communication and this is key for you this week the four of emotion says stand back look at the bigger picture and be ready for these new opportunities coming your way here it is here and it's a little echo of that with the four of emotion card don't just be looking in one direction look at the bigger picture the five of life comes in and says, focus on what you do have. Focus on what you do well. Ask for some help if you need it. But stay positive and get your focus in a positive place. The seven of wisdom is a movement forward. This is you making your move forward. And the mindfulness with this card says, as you go after these new wishes, dreams and goals, make that move. This card often comes after things have felt a little bit stuck or a little bit stale. But do so with balance and do so with discipline. So just go steady and be balanced and think of your decisions. Think them through carefully when you're making your move. The nine of thought comes in. This is beautiful under the five of life card here. Stay positive. Choose your thoughts with care. Focus on optimism. Focus on positivity. And your final outcome card, the three of wisdom. This is the empress card in traditional tarot. This says time for you to get busy. Start these new projects. Get your sleeves rolled up. Nurture and care for yourself, which was what we were saying here with the Queen of Teacups. But get to work on those brilliant new ideas. Ask for help if you need it. So let me just quickly look at the whole of the reading for you. Plan your next adventure. The new opportunities are coming in looking for you. Stay positive. Focus on optimism. Follow your moral compass and then get your sleeves rolled up. Time to get busy. Make your move and expect that situation to improve. This is you climbing the ladder of success. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. If you have, click that subscribe button. It's lovely when you do. And then you'll get notified when I do the next one for you. So take care now and I'll see you soon.